and we have reporters all over the area. So now we want to go to Jacqueline Quinn, who uh, has a report for us in Tangipahoe. So you've heard a lot about the winds and the bands coming in. Well, here in Tangipahoe Parish, uh, the president of the parish has been talking about the river level. So let's take, come over here and take a look. Uh, this is Lee's Landing. This is where typically people bring uh, their boats to launch. But look how high that water level has risen here. It's overtaken this launch area and it's expected to continue to climb on Tuesday. Uh, they're estimating about 21 feet, and that means that we're going to see a significant amount of water here. Uh, some of the other concerns is uh, not only is it from the rain that is building up this rise here, but because Lake Pontchartrain is so high, it's slowing down the rate of flow. So that's continuing to make things rise. Now, of course, people live around here. You remember in 2016, uh, there were people that were affected by flooding from the storms that uh, came through here. This gentleman actually has a farm nearby. And sir, what's your first and last name? Adam Kugler. Adam Kugler. Tell yeah. me about your farm and uh, how concerned well, are you about... Well, we probably yeah. got the last piece of high ground on uh, the river. That uh, In the last flood, we got roughly 16 inches of water. The, the water here right now is it's from this morning. It came up about five or six inches. It's just starting that we're several miles from the lake. It takes time for the water to get here. How's that going to affect you? Tell me you have a farm, you have a, a house back there. Um, well, we've already went through and picked up the basics that need to come up and get off the ground. And the rest, all you can do is wait and see what else has to be lifted up or whatever work needs to be done for it. Now, what are your plans as, uh, I guess, the rain moves through here and you see the water come up? All you can do is wait. I'm, I'm not headed to go anywhere. I'm going to stay here. Okay, yeah, that was what I was wondering. You know, you have a lot of things to um, to watch. So you're going to keep yeah. an eye out. And you were here last time during the 2016 yeah. flood. Uh, tell me again, like, how your property was affected by that flood. And on that flood, we have a, one hill in the front for the cows that I would haul hay back and forth in the boat from all barn up to the front and feed them up by the roadside. Right now, we still have enough ground above water, plenty of grass for them still yet. Okay, and so, and how long did it take to go down? It was nine days last time. Oh, okay. It was quite a number of days before it got to where the fields were all back free again of water. Okay, so you're probably looking at a situation like that again this time? Well, maybe not quite as bad, I don't think, but it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a few days. It's going to be Wednesday or Thursday before we get back out to water, most likely. All right. Well, Adam Kugler, thank you so much for talking with us. Well, yeah, uh, thank you. So Adam Kugler is just one of the few people that live um, right close to uh, the river right here coming out to look at the levels because, again, uh, it's been forecast that this is expected to rise all the way to 21 feet. So a lot of people are concerned about their property and uh, deciding right now whether they should stay or leave. Adam Kugler deciding to stay. For now, reporting uh, out here, we'll send it back to you in the studio.